Yo, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here. Welcome back to the channel. Ladies and gentlemen, today is the final day for the Call of Duty Vanguard beta. And uh, throughout the weeks that the beta was live, I set myself with the goal to get a V2 rocket. Didn't care really how I did it, even though I, I really tried not to camp that much. I really, really tried to not use the meta weapons, but my god, playing this beta solo is has to be one of the worst gaming experiences I've ever had. I think Call of Duty solo is just not fun at all, but I mean, in the beta for, for this year, it just was absolutely horrible. And it kind of sucks though, because a lot of my friends really didn't enjoy playing the beta either. So I was stuck kind of left playing alone by myself. Um, but yeah, it is what it is though. A lot of my friends have, you know, personal stuff going on. They're going to work, school, have kids or whatever. So don't really have as much time as we used to have before to game. But um, yeah, I was one of the very few that was playing the beta out of my friends group and i was able to at least get something for you guys in the gameplay you're gonna see that i get a nuclear medal in this gameplay so i am gonna be doing like a traditional gameplay commentary type style video here and i'm gonna be listing off some of the things i did not like about the beta and then also some positive things and maybe some stuff that such hammer games has to work on uh, but yeah hopefully you guys do enjoy the video in the gameplay here i'm gonna be using the stg and the tommy gun as my primary and secondary uh, again i do get a nuclear medal i was like four off from getting a v2 rocket which sucks again i set myself with the goal to get a v2 rocket during the beta um i came close so many times i've died like two three and four off of it so so many times um, but it is what it is hopefully you guys do enjoy the nuclear gameplay but now as for the very first thing that made the beta experience not that enjoyable for me was the low latency issue i kept getting that issue the the little metal on the side of the screen it kept happening for me literally in every single game that i had and it was almost unplayable to a point where it just couldn't be played because every game i was rubber banding other players were freezing and then i would just unexpectedly died just that made the beta experience so so unenjoyable for me and hopefully when the game fully does come out they can fix their connectivity issues because it does seem like it's something on their server and um so yeah hopefully that does get fixed right now um but also also in the gameplay here, like I said, I, I am going to be using the STG and the Tommy Gun, uh, which are two out of the three meta weapons for the beta. There is literally only three weapons being ran. The two I just listed, and then the MP40. There was no weapon variety whatsoever in this beta, and if you were not using one of those three weapons, then I feel you were at a severe disadvantage. So, hopefully the meta does get changed up for the final release of the game. There's more variety, that kind of stuff. The time to kill for me, I see a lot of people complaining about it. To be honest, the time to kill was not that bad at all for me. I think the uh, TTK was better. It's what Modern Warfare should have felt like because Modern Warfare was just extremely fast. I literally felt like I would just get looked at, beamed across the map, and then died every single death over and over again. And that really made Modern Warfare very, very unenjoyable for me. Uh, but the time to kill for this beta does feel what mo like what Modern Warfare should should have been it, it does feel more refined and i'm okay with it honestly i really really am but if you guys feel differently then please tell me down below in the comments i do know there's a lot of people that are going to disagree with that but i just want to hear what y'all what y'all thoughts are about that as for the maps the maps honestly were not too enjoyable for me but i think a big part of the reason why that was the case is because spawns were just atrocious in the beta there were so many times where players would spawn behind me spawn in front of me kill me from all different types of angles and and yeah spawns definitely need to be one of the main focal points for the final release of the game uh, and i think that could really make the maps a bit more enjoyable and memorable uh, but all in all in general i think that the maps are very very anti-camp uh, because there's so many different angles where you can get shot from that are out of your peripherals so uh which i'm not complaining i think that's a very good thing to have but there really isn't like a main power position on any of the maps where you can get a couple of kills move to a different location get a few kills there like there's just always a different location where somebody can see you and shoot you from but you can't see them so yeah the maps were just in general just just pretty okay pretty average at best um but spawns need it to be a huge focal point for the final release as for the kill streaks i really really would have loved for the original score streak system to have returned this would have made the beta experience so much more better for myself personally 
um, but I, I myself too am guilty of it, but honestly, playing OBJ was not a priority on my list of things to do in a game because there's just no incentive to do so. You know, why, why risk it? There's no point. You get no rewards for playing objective, for capturing the point. The only thing you do get rewarded for is getting kills only, and, and not even by getting EKIAs, by getting kills, actual kills in the game. So um, playing OBJ was not a priority of mine, but I really would have loved uh, score streaks have returned the original one from like black ops 2 would have made the beta by far very very fun um but you know for game modes like patrol like why play the objective because uh, every time you do players are just going to get notified uh, of somebody being on the objective and then they can take you out from a longer to medium range distance you know it's just it's just not enjoyable or not fun at all to just play obj rush heavy and and play to win because you're not going to get rewarded for it at all you're not going to get rewarded so I do hope, maybe cross my fingers, that Score Streaks could return in the final release. But, you know, at the same time, I'm not holding my breath for it, though, because, um, you know, this game is pretty much set in stone, honestly. I think they're just going to be doing a couple of finishing touches here and there and little things like with the lighting, the connectivity, stuff like that. Uh, spawns, too, of course. But um, as for, you know, a, a main part of the game, a main integral part of the game like kill streaks, that's probably not going to be changing for the final release. So that makes me very, very sad, but it is what it is, though. But now to continue on with the topic of kill streaks, I think armor plates should be one of them, like in Cold War, instead of a field upgrade, because armor plates are too advantageous to not be. And that one to two extra bullet protection it makes a huge difference in a gunfight. The nerf did and make them a little bit more balanced, but still something that could potentially give you the advantage of winning a gunfight just because you managed to literally stay active in a game it should not happen. Dogs also need to get looked at because dogs can teleport through staircases and kill you uh, in the gameplay here. I was very close to getting my dogs. I think I was like one off when the enemy team dogs just said, fuck you, I'm still going to rip off your cock and balls. So <laughs> I hope for the final version of the game we could, you know, get that changed because yeah dogs should not teleport through objects <laughs> i also hope that for the final version of the game we can get more aerial kill streaks because a lot of the ones in the beta are more ground based but still they're pretty fun to use like the flame knot the death machine uh they're both very very fun to use uh death machine though should have slightly more damage in my opinion but all in all kill streaks are pretty okay in my opinion i think there there's not much to complain about here with that i uh, love the dogs too and, and yeah kill streaks are just pretty good so basically in general i think if sledgehammer games had the meta with more diversity i think if there were score streaks and if spawns were fixed and more refined i think the beta would have been a much more enjoyable experience for everybody those are some of the biggest gripes that i've had with this beta so far over the past two weeks that i've been playing uh, but as for some little small things i think we should have a ping system because i've gotten used to pinging everything from my playtime in cold war i think it's very useful to have for or, uh, solo play too because you can communicate with teammates who who are uh, you know not using a mic so the pink the pink system should return um i think the sun glitch or whatever the sun lighting needs to be toned down a bit because that shit just blinds the hell out of you every time you look at it uh, lighting too needs to be a bit more vibrant as well on some parts of the maps um but all in all guys honestly i, I really did not have that bad of a play time in the beta as most people did i think it was okay it's not the worst but definitely not not the best and kind of far from it though but you know i have full faith in such hammer games i think they can work their magic i think they can get a lot of stuff done within these next few months we have until the final version does release and i think they can produce something you know very very good for, for the call of duty community because we need it right now i think they are going to take advantage of battlefield delaying the release of their game too and i think they they're gonna come out with something really really good uh, you know i'm crossing my fingers here and yeah i, I have a lot of faith in such hammer games so uh, those are my thoughts guys on the call of duty vanguard beta please tell me yours down below in the comments i really really want to know what you guys have to say about this was your experience fun was it not so fun what didn't you like about the beta and yeah let me know that down below in the comments i love you guys so so much have a great rest of the day i'm really am trying to put a lot more content out for you guys right now but school and work have just been taking up so much of my time but when i can i promise 
promise you guys I will upload I will post content I'm here I'm not gonna be going anywhere uh, if you guys do want to keep up to date with me then go ahead and follow me over on my Twitter it's at mr. the reverts the same way as my YouTube name and uh, yeah let's let's talk over there let's communicate I'm gonna be tweeting out some call duty news stuff too as well anytime that I do get it and yeah guys you know I'm here still I'm not gonna be going anywhere I love you all so so much have a great rest of the day till next time I'll see y'all later